In this video, I'll show you the best workout to pump up your triceps. So watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Let's go! The triceps forms two-thirds of the shoulder muscles. Even if you pump up powerful biceps without a developed triceps, your arms will look weak. The triceps take up the entire backside of the shoulder and consist of three heads – long, lateral, and medial. The main function is to extend the arm at the elbow joint. When you train the triceps, all three heads are always working. There are many options for exercises for this muscle. Some exercises shift the emphasis to the lateral and medial heads, while others put more load on the long Head. This video will contain those exercises that evenly distribute the load across all three muscle segments. You shouldn't train your triceps more than one or two times a week. Don't forget that many chest exercises load the triceps, so design your training program so that the triceps and pectoral muscles are trained on separate and distant days, thus achieving some periodization of the load. But in some cases, the triceps can be trained on the same day as the pecs, since all basic chest exercises involve the triceps, and vice versa. This means that if you pump your chest, your triceps will pump on their own. To increase efficiency, do triceps triceps workouts of varying intensity – light, medium, hard, and so on. After a hard workout, rest your triceps for at least one week. In classic splits, triceps are usually the most overloaded muscle, due to the very specifics of training in split programs. To increase the volume of the triceps muscle, perform 8 to 12 reps. The total number of sets of all triceps exercises is 3 to 6. Rest between sets is 2 to 3 minutes. A 2007 study showed that the triceps are approximately 67% type second muscle fibers. This means that training with heavy weights and low repetitions is best for triceps. Train slowly and without jerking to recruit all motor units. The American Council on Exercise brought in a term of scientists from the University of Wisconsin to identify the best triceps exercise. The results showed that the greatest muscle activity in the triceps was in diamond push-ups. Let's move on to the technique of performing them. Take a prone position. Keep your body straight. The neck, back and hips are located on the same line. Feet together. Place your hands narrowly. The distance between the palms is from 10 to 30 centimeters. Distribute the load over the entire surface of the palms and fingers. Elbows slightly pressed to the body. Lower your shoulder blades down and bring them together. They remain in this position throughout the entire exercise. As you inhale, lower yourself to a 90 degree angle at your elbows. As you exhale, straighten your arms and rise to the top point. Point. The second exercise is a dip. Grab the bars, body straight. The neck, back and hips are located on the same line. Feet together. Lower your shoulder blades down and squeeze them together. They remain in this position throughout the entire exercise. Elbows press to the body. As you inhale, gently lower your body to the lowest point, bending your elbows to a 90-degree angle. As you exhale, straighten your arms, lifting your body to the top point. Try to avoid jerking and swinging your legs. The third exercise is a triceps press down. Grab the handle, bring your chest forward and lower your shoulder blades down and fix them in this position throughout the entire exercise. This way, you will avoid unnecessary movements in the shoulder blades, shoulders and back. The elbows are fixed in one position and press tightly to the body. As you exhale, straighten your elbows, lowering the handle down. Hold this position for a second. As you inhale, bend your arms slowly and under control and return to the starting position. The next exercise is an overhead triceps press. Place your feet shoulder width apart. Keep your back straight and look ahead. Grasp the dumbbell plate with both hands and leave the dumbbell behind your head until your arms are almost completely straight. At the high point, pause for a few seconds, then bend your elbows and return to the starting position. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. Links are on the screen right now. See you soon.